What's up, y'all? Today, I'd like to tell the story about how I snuck in to my first and only Cirque du Soleil audition. Now, at the time, I was living in Seattle, working at Emerald City Trapeze Arts. Julian Kalari had just joined me. We were developing our trampoline and tramp wall program there and developing what would blossom into a full-on acrobatic partnership. Though at the time, everybody was certain that it was more than just an acrobatic partnership. He's more of a platonic, heterosexual life partner. That's besides the point. So Cirque du Soleil was doing kind of an open casting call and a lot of people were getting the invite. You could send in videos um, to kind of request to come to the audition. Um, so me, Julian, Jenny Atomic, Enrique Escajeda, AKA Classic Enrique, Stephen Brine, he wasn't in Seattle, but he ended up going, Jake Carter, and a whole bunch of other soon to be friends um, all were trying out for this audition. We sent in the first round and they sent this response email saying that for the official audition, they will send an email contacting you. Now I found this to be very ambiguous because they had sent an email contacting me. Now they did not disclose the location of the audition to me, but they did to my other friends. So having the funds, having had the ambiguous email, everybody gets ready to go to Vegas. Who are you talking to? taking the opportunity to tell the story about how I snuck into my Cirque audition. Do you think I was in the frame? I don't know. I think we'll find out afterwards, though. Which, hey! You want to come say hi? I'm in a towel. That's okay. You're not showing anything. No. Just wait. Just stick a hand in. Hi. <laughs> say hi to Rebecca. Um, did, would you like to say anything? I can cut this out. No. No? Okay. Love you. Love you, Rebecca. Love you. Yay. Um, okay, they all got the email giving the location of the audition, the love theater, and the time and the date, and like the official invitation. I did not get this second email. At first I was a little bummed, I think, I don't really remember, but I was just like, I'm buying a ticket and I'm coming. <laughs> um, so we show up. Everyone's going through, they're like, okay, name, whatever, boom, yep, you're on the list, boom. Then they get to me, I'm last. Last of my friend group, and our friend group was last in line. And they're like, you name them? I'm like, don't mess. They're like, uh, you're not on the list. I was like, well, I got this email. And they like, look at it. They're kind of like talking with each other. And then they're just like, fill out this form and go in. <laughs> Uh, everybody there had a specific act that they were presenting and like trying to sell their act to Cirque. Except for me, Julian Kalari, and Jake Carter, AKA Daddy Jake, AKA Tater Top. Um, we're the only trampoline and tumbling people. So we... We sit there for like two and a half, about four hours, five hours. I don't even know. Am I in frame? I'm better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All day, all day, watching act after act. It was super cool. There was a lot of stuff. There was a there was a hand balancing strip act. Stephen Bryan's serial act was awesome and emotive. Enrique's was very 
I don't even know. I want to say vaudeville. Yeah, vaudeville is probably not the right word. Um, it was like picture picture the cartoony circus guy with the curly Q black mustache. And he's like really strong and <clears throat> strong man. Yeah, but on rope and just like, but it was like super classy, like Frank Sinatra. I'm doing a poor job of explaining this. I have footage of it somewhere. I should probably make a video doing that. Well, eventually the link will be here or Enrique, if, if you also have that. Um, and Jenny Atomic's act was fantastic until she had a wardrobe malfunction. And it's probably not my business to tell, but I know that she was like very shook by the experience and she just like, I, I don't think emotionally, she like recovered her composure. I might cut this part out. I'll ask her if it's okay. Um, anyways, so we watch all of these acts, all of our friends, all of these other people going, and then finally they take us away from the main stage to the backstage where there's a trampoline shoved up against an endless wall. And I do have clips of this and I will put it there. It was also in my 2017 summer tramp wall sampler where you see me and Julian doing uh, one and threes together. And they're like, okay, this is where you will be doing your audition. Um, go ahead and like get warmed up. We'll, we'll come back and let you know when, you, when like, you know, when we're gonna be coming here or whatever. So we're like, okay, cool. We like start warming up. And then like five or 10 minutes later, they come back with like the, the casting agents, the, the like the head of like acrobatic talent, scouting agent, whatever his, whatever his title was, Charlie Burroughs. Um, and like the whole, he is, but I didn't know him at that time. I had no idea who this guy was. He was like the head of acrobatic casting for Cirque du Soleil. He could have been like freaking, um, who's that cook? Who's like really, really, uh, snooty? really snooty and angry at everyone. Yeah. Um, like or he, every Russian gymnastics or he, coach you ever knew. <laughs> or, or like, uh, what's his face from American Idol? Who's like mean to everyone. Simon. Simon. Yes. He could have been like Simon Cowell. I didn't know. Charlie Burroughs is great. He's a super sweet guy, but it was like super intimidating. He's the head of Cirque du Soleil acrobatic casting, whatever. They come back and they're like, all right, you got know, like five minutes. And so they're like, they're like watching us warm up and we're like, oh shit, the audition is like on. And they ask us to present Flat Tramp. We're there to audition Tramp Wall. Jake Carter is a tumbler. None of us are flat trampolinists. And then they ask if we have any like weird off axis kooky skills. And I had like something that I've like kind of been working on. It's a lot cooler now, but I like tried to present it and I like messed it up. And they like asked for like a four trick combo with like two doubles or something. And I like messed that up too. And then they're like, okay, uh, you want to show us some wall? We're like, yes, please. But it was not a regular tramp wall. It was just an endless wall. So me and Julian are just like, oh, well, okay. We had like no time to warm up or prepare. We didn't know the structure of this audition. Blah. And we just went and he like, we like decided the combo like right before we went and then did it. Um, all of my friends, almost all of my friends got invited back for the second day. I did not. And they asked if anybody, like, if you want feedback, please come and ask. And I did. And they said that I was, I had an excellent skill set for the show Love, but I was too tall. And that, like, basically none of the costumes would fit me. And that was when I was first introduced That's to the concept. Okay. All the Love costumes are super short. Oh yeah, I mean, like if you know who one. Sam Softich is, or Jake Carter is, you'll see, like, I'm much taller than all like, of them. Julian Gimler, like, almost didn't get it because he was too tall. Yeah, and he's, like, just six foot? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm two inches taller. Um, anyways, yeah, like, Cirque creates these shows, and the role has already been made. They have this mold, and... They need to find someone who's like relatively close to that shape to fit into the character that has been cast. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have to literally fit. And so I didn't get the job because I was too tall and I could have been like super butthurt and upset about it, but I wasn't. I was just like, oh, that's not the job for me. 
Um, but then they also said something else, which is very inspiring. They're like, you either need to be like better at flat trampolines so you can have like that skill set to compare, or you just need to be like super good at wall so that like we can't ignore you. I was like, <laughs> you got yourself a deal there. Um, so I was very motivated to really push and level up after that. But I asked if I could come watch the second day of auditions. So I got to come and support Julian and Enrique and Steven. And it was just a fantastic experience to see the je and like acting games that they put people through. Jake finally got to present his tumbling for them. He fucking stuck his triple back tuck and I just like had such a good time watching it and I didn't get anything I didn't get a job from that but I met Charlie I learned about the casting process I made a bunch of friends and You can take whatever lesson you want, I guess. It, it's like, it feels really corny to have like a prepackaged one, but really like I wasn't invited. I didn't know if they were gonna let me in. I decided to go anyways, and they let me in. And like, if you want something, take every opportunity to do it. Like there's people who talk about like getting into stunt acting that like find out where like a specific stunt Look coordinator me, give me advice to break into situations. Is, wor is working <laughs> and you have to go and like That's hop the right. fence and just like pretend that you need to be there and you have your like, your like portfolio and you're like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. Uh, hire me please. And like, that's like a kind of accepted thing that happens in the stunt community. Apparently, I don't know. I'm not a part of that, but like, yeah, just kind of like, don't break the law, but like weasel your way in there, man. Cause after that point I was a familiar face and maybe a familiar name and I got into the database, but fast forward, not even a year, maybe seven months later and a position is open at Lanuba. The trampoline captain there, Derek Aldrich, reaches out to the owner of For The Kids Gymnastics, who he used to compete with. His name is Josh Vance, no relation. He recommends two people. Giacomo Trottier on Instagram, at Trampwall. He's been in the game for 10 years. He was a traditional trampolinist, and there are some like high level, well, higher level than I was currently capable of, flat trampoline routines. Like everyone there was like a competitive gymnast, trampolinist, tumbler, etc and it's a 12 foot wall. Recommends Giacomo and he's like, oh, kind of as an afterthought, there's this guy, Dylan. Um, he's not really a trampolinist, but if you give him a shot, I think he could he could make it. Um, so we kind of like threw my name in there and they contacted me and that whole story is a story for another time, but I don't think if I had been a familiar name with Charlie Burroughs before, if I had gotten that feedback and worked my ass off to be ready for this next opportunity, I wouldn't have been ready for that next opportunity. And tune in next time to hear the story of how I left my contract at Cirque Trick in San Diego early for my very first ever Cirque du Soleil show. Come back next time. <laughs> or if you want to hear another story or just hear more about emerald city comment below let me know i got a lot of stories it's been a crazy journey um if you want to hear about how the world's first tiktok tramp wall hype house was formed or like what's going on there now i got the scoop bro <laughs> okay peace love and tramp wall Wow, that was my first ever 14-minute video.